Leo, it's reached from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. Now, this will be for the second half of October 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone out there, so take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Now, I have already pre-shuffled, so we can get started. Okay. Interesting. Okay, you've got a few. So the one that fell out is rising above. This is about you being free. You're rising above from a situation that isn't in your highest good. Um, you got some clarity about this situation. It's number 11. First of all, that's a good number, but also it's all about your choice. In your, it may be in a partnership of some kind, um, but you're definitely rising above it. Now, you need to feel whole on your own and do some transformation. And you've got transformation twice. But you do have this card talking about you need to be okay on your own knowing that you're whole on your own you don't need anyone else now these ones i brought out because it's all about some new beginning it's all going to bring you you know mystery excitement um at the same time also possibly fear um, maybe not letting go of the past. But look, going to be very passionate with the flame tree, fiery. And at the same time, you've got sadness and ending and a new beginning. So once you let something go, endings bring new beginnings. So the card that fell out is the root chakra which makes complete sense. This is about knowing that you have everything you need to survive, to grow, to, you know, you're good. Um, so maybe having either a red crystal, doing some grounding, hug a tree, spend time in nature, whatever this is for you. Um, yoga, anything that will help ground you, um, work on your root chakra. But it's all, as I said, it's all about you realizing you're enough. You have everything you need. You know, you're whole. You don't need, you don't need anyone else. Let me get out that whole card. I feel like that's important. Crystals can help. Or it's all about um, nature. Maybe you like to be in nature, look at nature, spend time in nature, whatever this is. And you are an earth sign, so that makes complete sense. You don't really have much hope. 
after whatever went on in your past. Um, you're also possibly not really working on manifesting anything either. You did not see... Over here, remember how I spoke about you rising above, you're getting some clarity. You did not see this situation really for what it is, and maybe you still don't. Um, it definitely did some sort of work on you, this past person or past situation. Yeah, this... I feel like they they made you feel very like lonely and secluded and separated, confined, you know, you got three three. When really as much as they tried to make you feel that way, you need somebody where you work as a team, you work in harmony, cohesion, um, you know, like a symphony. You all have your part, but at the same time, when you come together, you make this music, amazing music. Um, this person wanted to take away your support, your network. Why is that? They didn't see you, your self-worth. They didn't, they didn't see you through, through the precious person that you are. It's given you a lack of hope. It's given you a lack of faith. I feel like you had your power taken away. Um... Didn't make you feel very valued. You could also be going through court or some sort of legal situation with this person. Also, you, you know, you are going to get the truth or realise the truth about this person. You're not in any kind of communication right now. Um, you're not soulmates or I feel like it could have been a karmic. Tell me more about What did I just say? Can you read that? Karmic relationship. They could have made you believe that this person is your your person. You have triggers. It, it's caused turmoil. It's caused... You're needing to let go and love you. You need to learn from this situation. You're letting go and moving on. As I said, not talking. You weren't compatible.
this person was very self-indulgent. It was all about them. But now you need to focus on you. You need to focus on your self-worth. You need to take time to heal. Do that shadow work. Appreciate you, you know, for who you are. Because this person didn't. And there was definitely some sort of lightning moment, tower moment. Um, but you're not really wanting to mingle and get right out, get out there and meet other people for now. feel like if if you were still in this situation you needed a break or you need to take a break um because you would have a new perspective if you were away from this person um maybe look at your dating patterns do some subliminal work um change all those subconscious patterns that you have um but yeah, you're moving on, you're progressing. So I feel like this, as I said, could have been in the past and this is what's happened since. Um, you're not manifesting what you want, but also you're not really positive. As I said, you're doubtful after what you've been through. It's like, I don't think that you really want to go mingle because are you going to get the same as before? But you need to grow, you need to heal, you need to put a, put a complete ending to this situation. Work on your self-love because you're going to attract what you are. Relationships reflect our wounds. Figure out what your life goals are and make sure that in future this person has the same one. You need to heal your heart. It could have been a narcissist and an empath um, situation where you were being charmed or used. Maybe you didn't see that. Maybe you didn't have boundaries. But you will grow, you will heal, you will evolve. Oops. Okay, another card. Okay, we've got a few. Two of Cups is on the bottom. So breakup, distrust, a misunderstanding. I don't think it's so much that. I feel like it's more that you just realise this is this is like karmic situation as well. Not your person, not a kindred spirit. This person had a lot of secrets. And also you have a lot of deep-seated fears. You had a lot of inner turmoil because of this person and your past. This is about releasing worry. There's a lot for you, I feel like, to learn before you move forward there's a lot you need to work on yourself and and heal um there was definitely a lack of abundance in this situation it's like a codependent situation as well Let's 
this one temporary. Messenger of Wands in reverse. Okay. At the moment, you could be feeling emotional you might be feeling um you really need to work on yourself look after you now work on if you were codependent work on that if you need to focus on your self-love work on that um because i feel like you're in a situation with somebody who is very needy very emotionally manipulative um Feel like you with a dependable stable person secure person and they knew that you've got the sun card this is the best card in the deck so everything's gonna be okay for you the world here. Taurus. The end of the second half of October. Justice coming with this. They're like, no, there's nothing more to do. Come on. Okay. You really resisted letting this go. But you need to keep your faith. You can get your happiness. You can, you know, you can have your wishes come true. You just got to keep the faith. Okay, let's have a look what you've got here. So, yeah, you need to look at why you let this person treat you the way they did. Um, is it because you lack self-confidence, self-love? You know, maybe you have some self-limiting sort of thoughts about yourself. Um, there was a lack of stability in the situation. But you also didn't want to let this move on and leave the past behind. It caused a lot of conflict though with other people. Didn't they get that with one of those other cards? Yeah, they wanted to make you feel lonely and confined with no network. That's right. There we go. 
Um, you got the messenger of coins. You need to learn from whatever did not work. I just feel like don't know whether you're like procrastinating or this person was the procrastinator they kind of you know was always having bad luck and no common sense they didn't really have any goals um i feel like it's somebody who would say something and then there would be no follow through And with that one, you've got the Nine of, Knight of Swords. As much as this person had no goals, had just constant bad luck and bad news and, you know, like a victim, you're like the Knight of Swords. You know, you're ambitious. You have goals. You were driven to succeed. You were determined. Um... You know, you were all about truth and like I see them as like there they are procrastinating. They're not even reading a book, they're just doing absolutely nothing because it's in reverse and then there's you charging through life. You're a go-getter, you know, you want to go do things. Make things happen for yourself. But you've got the world. So this was about you learning. Completing some sort of lesson. And it is about endings and new beginnings. Somebody wanted to reconcile and I don't know if it's due to your lack of confidence, lack of self-love, whether this was you, but it was like doubting yourself. Did I make the right decision? I don't want to be alone. Um, The justice cards in reverse. Like they're never going to take accountability for what they did. You know, they feel victimised. They feel like whatever happened, it's all your fault. You did, you treated them badly. You know, you didn't put up with their shit. So therefore you're, you know, it's all your fault. There was a definite imbalance and... Yeah. And with the seven of wands in reverse, this is feeling like exhausted. This, as I said, this situation, remember when I said over here, just drained you. You wanted to give up. with the two of wands you wanted to work on figuring out what it is you want for your future you're assessing your life considering all the possibilities because maybe over here you're very indecisive and you're like you know oh okay poor them because you know they make you feel like they're the victim and I'm sure they tell everyone else that it's all your fault too, you know. But I feel like you're, you're definitely thinking things through, but you're thinking more about your future. 
and making some decisions about what it is you want. Now, you've got the King of Swords as well. So, you know, this was you seeing the truth, speaking the truth, you know, standing up for yourself, um, having higher standards, um, but taking back your own power. And, yeah, saying what you need to say, speaking your truth. That you don't want to put up with this. Can I have one more card? Right. Got a couple. So in this situation, you're like the queen of coin and you're, you know, being, you're a very nurturing person, you're prosperous, you know, with the queen of coin, it's about, you know, you work, you're a mother, you're dependable, you're generous, supportive, you know, all those things. And, you know, because of that, of course, with the fall in reverse, like, you have a lack of faith. You have a lack of faith that, and possibly you will let people, these, you know, dickheads rush back in because you have this lack of self-worth. But you need to realise that you're this queen of coin. You know, you're, you deserve better than this. You weren't happy in this anyway. Look at her. She, she looks bored. dissatisfied there's no direction um, but I feel like you know there's always some sort of opposition um, with the chariot in reverse I just feel like you need some self-discipline um, to know you deserve better like look you've got block vibes called lack of direction and then look what's on this card lack of direction lacks direction you're stifled you're feeling stuck you know um i feel like even this person is is um Even this person lacks direction. They're stifled, they're bored, they're unstable, they're impatient. They don't generally finish things. Um, but, yeah, you need to just now go within, heal, rest. Like this person, I don't know if they're going to go away so easy. They're controlling, they're tyrannical, they're ruthless, they're relentless. But I feel like it's in your best interest to kind of walk away. As much as you feel like you are not going to get better or whatever you are, Yeah, you really need to realize this person is like the Knight of Cups in reverse. They're a fraud. They come in like Prince Charming, but they're not. They're a liar. They're lazy. They have a short attention span. They might pretend to be misunderstood, but they're not. Eight of Wands again. Like, I feel like take, you're taking action. You're making a change because, look, you know that you want your person. You know that you want 
something that's not going to treat you like shit, like this person. So it's like, there's them, there's this new relationship, and then here you are in the middle manifesting and then things will start happening quickly you're making fast paced changes you're taking action you're making taking you know making a change away from this person and once you do in comes mr right or mrs right or whoever the right person all right that's what i have for you taurus um, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.